the retailer's revenge. The decks are down. At long last, the house doesn't look like Toy Town, and the world again looks brown. First outing shopping in the new year, though sad to see the retailers are far from sincere. Accusations of being profiteers. The tinsel has been quickly replaced with Easter eggs, and even Simnel cake is now available in Greg's. As promoted while you wait in the never-ending queues on the now ubiquitous 60-inch OLEDs. And if it's not Easter, it's Valentine's Day. Another rip-off. Love Lorn known as a Reezy Prey. Radio requests their Valentine shout-out by high-pitched voiced radio DJs. Prize on offer is a romantic weekend strolling down the Champs-Élysées. Entry is a mere £10 for text entries. Check with your mobile network. Competition sponsored by Fabergé. Time marches on and it's soon midsummer. I hope you're in good humour because there's a certain autumnal aroma. Home bargains have given over half the store to Halloween, all decorated in colours of black, purple and tangerine. Grotesque masks of werewolves, witches and Roy Keane. An overdose of plastic has all seemed to have origins of polystyrene. And cheap and nasty battery operated smoke machines, dancing skeletons, singing Begin the Begin. It's now August and all set to start all over again. The shelves are fully loaded with Santas, elves and snowmen, all stamped, made in Taiwan. Top quality, of course. No coincidence they're similar in boxes of Kellogg's All brand of limited lifespan. You've all been reeled in by the retailer's master plan. <laughs>